pin this. I, I see you. Pin comment. All right, there we go. Hello, everyone. Okay. Wait a few minutes here and then we'll get started. Um, welcome to Bruin with Bobby and Minka, uh, rainy day Friday edition. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I found uh, an apron my, my friends made me with a picture of me snuggling her and they threw it on an apron in case you were ever wondering about the bond between man and pug. Um, she's got on her house coat today because it's chilly and yes, my, my dog actually has a house coat, a rain coat and a cold weather coat that we take off. So she is really, really, really the most spoiled dog in the world. Um, so yeah, you, you want a goodie? Okay. All right, so today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. We've done a lot of coffee drinks that, um, you know, using AeroPress and these kinds of things. Today I decided to go in a different direction because one, I'm running out of ingredients and two, I'm running out of ideas. So today we're going to do two drinks using rosemary as the base flavor. I love um, herbs and tea and coffee and chocolate and mixing um, fresh herbs and dry herbs into the mix. So um, rosemary is fantastic with a lot of different uses. So today we're gonna make a, a basic rosemary syrup and then we're gonna add it to um, a hot chocolate and then also to a tea and we'll jazz it up with some things as we, as we do here. Um, while people are signing up real quick, I'm going to throw out some shout outs to people who um, are still open. Our Santa Monica shop is still open um, and on the weekends now we're serving Sugar Blooms pastries again. So if you miss those amazing croissants, um, Come visit us Saturday, Sunday. Found Coffee in Eagle Rock, Confidential Coffee in Long Beach, Cafe Aficionado in Northridge, Yang's Kitchen out in Alhambra, Constellation in La Cañada, Handy Market in Burbank, and Reverend Coffee out all the way down in uh, Rolling Hills Estates. Go visit any of these people if you're in their neighborhood. Everyone would be super grateful for the business. Um, again, everyone is in, in, you know, we're all in this, uh, in this life raft these days. And um, take it from me, the the, all the all this small business assistance that the government supposedly said in our way is really not happening right now. So we're all in a world of hurt. Uh, so uh, other other little updates. If you have any ideas for this show, show uh, please let me know what you'd like to see us demo. I mean, let me know what you have in your kitchen, and we can do a whole whole thing about it. Um, basically, it's I, I, on the day before these. I uh, open my fridge and I see what I have left and I try to come up with something creative for you guys. Um, so let me know what you guys are, are interested in seeing um, done and we'll, we, will, we will definitely get it going. All right, enough of me rambling. Uh, oh, one last thing. Uh, like everybody else, our baristas are hurting as well. So we have a tip jar pinned to our Instagram page. So please, if you should, if you should so feel inclined, Drop them a tip, it goes right to them, um, and they would be beyond grateful in this time of need for everybody here. Um, all right, so, rosemary syrup. Here's the, here's the trick with rosemary syrup. Use dried rosemary, right? You don't need to get fresh rosemary to make this. Dried rosemary, dried herbs in general make great syrup bases. A lot of people think you need to use a fresh herb. Dried herbs work almost, if not better. Um, so, we're going to take, uh, we're going to take two grams of rosemary. I'm gonna put four grams of rosemary here just to double the volume, but you're gonna take four grams of rosemary and we're going to add 40, uh, 80 grams of hot water to it. And we're just gonna let that steep for a, f for a few minutes here. Need that warm for later. All right, so. As that's steeping, give it a little swirl just to get it going. Um, keep that about two to three minutes. We're gonna use double the, uh, double the amount of water for the sugar. So we're, we have about um, 80 grams, or 40 grams of water here. We got or 50 grams of water here. We got about 25, 30 grams of sugar. So I want this a little bit of a thicker, um, more syrupy, uh, more syrupy syrup, if you will. Yeah. All right, so while that's going, uh, we're gonna get the second part of our drink set up. We're gonna use basil seeds in the tea. So if those of you been in our shop lately know we have a drink called the Beijing Sand and Fog. This is a riff on that. Basil seeds are kind of like chia seeds, but I, I like them a little bit better. They're a little more crunchy in my opinion. Uh, they give you a little bit more, um, I don't know, almost like a boba you think. So I'm gonna throw a whole tablespoon of this in here for now. It's useless, that's my tablespoon. 
There we go. Get a good heaping tablespoon. You're supposed to hydrate these in water. I'm going to hydrate these in, uh, in, in syrup. Uh, greetings from Guatemala. Greetings to you as well. Guatemala is one of my favorite countries to buy coffee in and one of my favorite countries to visit. Um, anyone who's watching here, if you haven't been to Antigua, go to Guatemala, go visit Antigua. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Are you hopping because you want a treat? There you go. All right. Okay, so after it's steeped for a couple minutes, we're going to strain. We're going to strain the rosemary over the sugar and just dissolve dissolve the rosemary infused um, water here, and that gives it all the aromatics you could want. Hey, I see you. All right, so we're gonna just shake this up, get it going. Um, hey, I see you. Okay. She's so bossy, you guys don't even know. Um, so I like to use Demerara sugar with everything. Those of you who know us know we love the darker sugars. Um, maybe it's because I'm a tanned person, but we always think darker is better out here. Uh, but you can use white sugar, use powdered sugar, whatever you got. You're just using it to sweeten it. Even honey powder would work or just mix it with honey and stir up and you're pretty much good to go. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. If you guys give any questions, fire them away. But uh, once you have your syrup nice and dissolved, you're gonna pour, hey, calm down, killer. You're gonna pour some of that onto your basil seeds and let them hydrate. We're gonna set this aside for a few minutes to let the basil seeds hydrate and form into, um, into their final form, if you will. All right. And just make sure they're all nice and wet. You're gonna pour those and just set those aside for a few minutes while they turn into um, little balls. Not quite boba, but you know, it gets you that same sort of um, texture and consistency. All right, so those of you who know anything about demi toss, you know we're known, one of the things we're known for is our famous hot chocolate. So this is gonna be a rip on our hot chocolate. And we sell these cool little kits on our website. You get four marshmallows, the lavender oil, and the chocolate mix. Um, this is a, you can buy that and get the chocolate powder at home and then Make yourself some rosemary syrup and make yourself a rosemary, uh, a rosemary hot chocolate. So I'm gonna take six ounces of milk and heat it up in the microwave. Next, I'm gonna get my protein shaker ready because that really is one of the best things to use to mix ingredients. And I'm using half an ounce of chocolate powder, which looks like that. It's more than you think, and the chocolate powder is super strong and super rich. So, um, like anything, if you want it more chocolatey, you can add more chocolate, use less milk, whatever you got. But I think um, half an ounce is quite a bit of chocolate for this. Um, but if you want that super rich, like European style chocolate, I would I would take this up to maybe a full ounce to the six ounces of chocolate uh, to the six ounces of milk. I'm using coconut milk today because that's literally all I have in my fridge, but this will work with any kind of milk you have, whole milk, uh, almond milk, cashew milk, whatever you like. Um, I honestly think with, um, with rosemary and almond milk would be really nice you can get some nutty notes in there, but um, I had coconut milk, so that's what I'm working with here. Um, so, so, we're gonna add our milk into the chocolate. And then I'm gonna add about two ounces of the rosemary syrup to give it some flavor. There we go, and pour the rest into here to hydrate uh, those basil seeds. All right, and you guys know the rest here. We're gonna get our protein shaker going. And let's shake it up. And again, if you don't have a protein shaker, use a mason jar and throw some rocks in it or whatever you got just to just to get it going here. What's up, Tina? So, um, all right. So it should be nice and frothy. Get your uh, coffee snob mug ready. And you got your rosemary hot chocolate. I like to garnish this with a splash of sea salt just to 
really get it going here. A little bit of sea salt on your chocolate is always nice. So rosemary chocolate, splash of salt, and then a little bit of cinnamon to finish it off. So you got rosemary, cinnamon, sea salt, and this is, especially on a rainy day, this is called comforting. So definitely, um, that's so good. Um, you get you get the richness, you get cinnamon, you get rosemary. It's really um, it's like a warm hug on a rainy day. And uh, I was making this yesterday, to playing playing around with it, and it really hit the spot yesterday. Hi, you want something too, huh? Okay. There you go. Okay, so that's the first drink. Um, the second drink that also involves rosemary, uh, but in a totally different way. We're gonna make a, um, a rosemary tea with um, basil seeds. So as you can see, these are slowly starting to form into little, almost like, um, kind of like how chia seeds just form that little hydrated uh, mucus around them or whatnot. Um, so these are almost ready to go. We're gonna use that at the end. In the meantime, we're gonna prep uh, some black tea. Uh, we're going to do double the strength, so we're going to use 4 grams of tea to about 100, 150 grams of water. But I'm going to take it up a notch here. We're going to put some orange peel into the tea. Just grate a little bit of orange peel in there. Maybe half of an orange. This is a pretty small orange. Again, it depends on how much orange, you, orange flavoring you want. Um, for those of you who don't know, most of the of the aromatics in, in, in citrus is trapped in the peel. So if you really want like something with like an orange aromatic flavor to it, use the peel. Um, it will definitely um, get you where you want to go. You don't need to like squeeze the orange juice into your tea or anything like that to get it to, to be um, an orange flavored type thing. Okay, so we got some orange peel in there. We're gonna brew this for about a couple minutes. Again, normally I would use about 300 grams of water, 350 grams of water. I'm only gonna put in 100 grams because I want it a lot stronger to offset the sweetness of the rosemary syrup and the basil seeds we're gonna prep it with. So. Like so. And we're gonna give that a few minutes here, and a little bit more. So we're going to have um, black tea with a, a lot of orange aromatics in it. Um, so we're going to give that a few minutes. And you can see these are, this is almost, um, I don't know how well you can see to be honest, but this is almost where we need it to be. So we're going to get our final drink set up. I found some fancy glassware today, so we're going to use, we're going to use this. Um, this is how we set it up in the shop. Um, in our shop we use, uh, we use a mint syrup and we top it with, uh, we use oolong tea, mint, and then we top it with, um, a little bit of um, um, steamed milk. Today I don't have milk at all, so we're going to just top it off with a little bit of honey powder on the end. Um, but we need to set up the, the basil seeds, so. If you do this right, it's like a really cool layered drink, which is definitely what, we, what, what you wanna go for when it's all said and done, so. Um, so we're going to put two, two heaping tablespoons, use as much as you want of the rosemary infused basil seeds and there should be a nice little layer at the bottom of your glass like so um, and I like the way these taste you can just like snack on these they're, they're quite crunchy but also they have a little bit of texture and then you're gonna gently pour your orange black tea mix right over it real gently um, Man, you can really smell that orange as it comes off of this. Okay. So as you can see, we got a um, bottom layer of, of basil seeds, uh, orange black tea up top. And then like I said, I like to finish this off with a little bit of honey. Just to give it a little extra sweetness um, because there's not a ton of um, I wish that sat on the top. Well. And there you have it. If you're feeling fancy at home and want a fancy tea drink, this is the way to go. And honestly, if you want to take this to the next level, shot of amaretto or shot of brandy in here, and you're you are set to have yourself a morning tea. 
How long would you say to steep it for? I would steep the tea for about two to three minutes. Um, but you get a lot of nice um, aromatics here. You get the black tea, the honey, all cuts through. And then as you sip this, the, the bottom layer of the basil seeds come through and then you get a little crunch in there, which is fantastic. I love texture and, and all my stuff. That's why I have marshmallows in my, my hot chocolate and we put crunchy things in all kinds of stuff or crusts and all kinds of good stuff. The seeds are crunchy. Yeah, they're crunchy, but not like in a, not in a bad way. I don't know how to explain it. You just got to get it. It's like, this tastes a lot like chia seed. Mm. And then as you bite down on the, on the basil seeds, you get the, the blast of rosemary, which is what we're aiming for today, right? Uh, rosemary infused thing. So it's really interesting. You get orange, you get rosemary, you get a little bit of the sweetness from the honey and you get to crunch on something fun and, um, yeah, this, I, I like using weird ingredients like this, but this is a fun drink to make at home. Um, you can get basil seeds like on Amazon. You don't even need to get an Amazon grocery delivery order for this. And then, um, yeah, like I said, you can use the dried, dried, any kind of herb you have really, dried thyme, dried oregano. You can make all kinds of fun syrups with just whatever you have in your, in your pantry. Um, so that is, uh, that is our tutorial for today, um, how to make drinks with basil. I'll throw this up on our blog. Hi, you want more treats? Got it. There you go. As always, please let me know if there's something you'd like to see us do. Uh, we're happy to um, mess around with anything, as you can tell. Uh, and um, yeah, that's it for us for today. Thanks as always for tuning in. I hope everyone is um, healthy. I hope everyone is safe. I hope everyone is surviving um, their, with their sanity intact. Uh, I'm, I'm losing it very quickly. She's all obviously loving it. And um, that's it for today. Again, we'll put uh, all the recipes on our blog in a few minutes. I'll, I'll type this out. You can definitely go and check it out. Um, check out, uh, go support uh, your local roasters, your local um, coffee shops that are still open. And, um, and like I said, almost any of these drinks, you can put a little bit of amaretto or brandy into uh, if, if you need it in that, um, you know, if you need it for, uh, for having tea in the morning. Cheers, everyone, and I will uh, I will talk to you guys soon. The apron, yes, the apron. Um, where can we get these aprons? This was a this was a present someone got me. Um, we actually did a photo shoot with the dog, and this was the photo they they stole and made an apron out of for me. So um, it's definitely uh, it's definitely us, little one. So um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope everyone's uh, everyone has a great weekend and. I don't know about you, but I'm loving the rainy weather. So we're going to go and, and uh, drink our tea and have our hot chocolate. And, uh, and we will see you guys on Tuesday. Again, if you have anything you want us to do, please definitely, um, I found, please definitely send us um, your suggestions. Um, if you guys want us to do some kind of fun signature drink, um, we will definitely uh, figure something out. Trust me, I've made, I've made coffee with avocados before, so we can do anything here. Um, okay. And she needs more goodies. So thanks everyone again. And we will be in touch soon. Take care.